Fedor is a special athlete. Oh. No standing over his opponent. Classy as ever. Time has come. Fedor versus Mir has begun. Fight Clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Amelia and Inko and Mir both capable of sending the other to a quiet place. Fred Mir is doing exactly what he needs to do. Backing him up. That's smart. And Amelia Nicole with a takedown on Mir. And Amelia Nicole catching Mir with a sweeping left hook. 30 seconds of fury here to kick off the main event. Take a look up Frank Mir's face. He's sitting there like, okay, that was fun. Good Mir with a straight look. left hand. And Amelia Nicole clapped for his Take a look at this. Left hand, steps back. There was some good action between, they both hurt each other. Nice straight left hand by Mir, but here it comes. He gets hit, boom. That left uppercut lands right on Mir's chin, and he is hurt. Watch the action again. Good straight left by Frank, he's coming in. He gets caught right here. Drops him down, he's stunned. Fedor comes up under the arm with a smart shot. Here it is again, boom! Look at that head snap. That's what puts you out. This is what heavyweights are about, and this is the power that Fedor has always had in both hands. Fedor Emelianenko has only gone to the judges' scorecards two times in the last 18 fights. He has never lost a decision. Yeah, Chael yeah, Sonnen Let's looking go, to fight. take him down and beat him up. Here we go! Tonight's fight for Big shot, he's hard, never left. Great taste and only 96 calories. Joel Sonnen has now tasted the power of Fedor Emelianenko. Another shot. Makes Joel Sonnen who he is. He is a gangster when it comes to he does not quit. Look at that takedown. Look at him going after it. He will not stop. He will continue to press until you put him down. That was not a smart move. Big Good shots shot. from Fedor. Looking to finish it right here, right now. Jail is sticking with it, but Jail made a big. What he did is he tried to hook in and roll Fedor over to get his back. It didn't work for him. It was an attempt at something. I give him credit for trying, but you got to be careful when you're working with Fedor. The explosiveness of Fedor Emelianenko on display prominently here early in this fight. We were talking earlier about positioning and where Chael needed to be. Fedor keeps getting to those positions. At the very top of the show, we talked about a similar type of attack for Chael as we saw from Ryan Bader, but with some twists and some big punches. That was a big that right hand. Stepper. Big right hand that the Fedor landed on Chael. Chael is hanging tough. Look what I see out of him right now. He's he got a this. Looking to finish right here, right now. He's not being a run, but he's got to move when Dan tells him to move. And it's all over! Fedor, Emilio Nico! Won't fight Ryan Fader for the heavyweight world championship. Fifth, first round finish, 12th John by knockout. Fedor strikes 
first. He's striking. He needs to be very careful when he is in that. You see, father time takes speed away from people. And still at 42, he still has very fast hands. Jordan is, uh, needs to be very careful to stand a nice body kick. That body is what Fedor needs to attack. Take the lungs away from Quick by going to the body. And the return from Rampage. Fedor doing a very good job of actually confusing Rampage about where he's going to attack. Big shot. Oh, and it is all over. Big shot. Fedor Emelianenko knocks out Quinton Rampage Jackson. Watch the shot here. Right hand just starches him. He goes face forward. You see a guy shaking his head. What is it telling you as the referee? I don't want to be where I'm at. I don't want to be in this fight. in Fedor's career have been quick. A lot made of the weight difference here between these two as Tim Johnson came in right at the heavyweight limit. Well, where the weight will make a big difference is if Tim Johnson can get on top of Fedor. It's going to cause him problems because Tim is not only big and has a lot of weight, he's got a lot of base and skill. But it's the speed of Fedor's hands that Tim's got to be careful of. That little nice check hook right there that landed. He needs to be very careful of where he opens up. Because Fedor's hands, he, he likes to keep them down. And he comes from odd angles with his punches. Where has... Good combination. Tim Johnson just walking right into it. Swinging for the fences. Not a bad move by Tim Johnson. Yeah. That's what you want to do. See, even at his age, Fedor's hands are so quick. Where has Extreme Couture helped Tim Johnson the most? Oh, where they've really helped him is they've, they've made him understand how to move his head off the center line, how to attack with his hands. You see how he dipped his head there, came off the center line. That's huge because when your head's down the center, it's there for your opponent to hit, and he was getting hit. Now he's not. He's getting those shots in like that not accepting a lot of damage. Left jab with Fedor. Oh, oh man, two over. monster shots by Fedor. And the GOAT comes home and reigns supreme. He knew exactly where he is, even if Tim Johnson right now doesn't. Yeah, that left hook. That left hook set it all up. Watch the left hand. Bip, right there, you see that? And then the right. Big time power. He has always had it. And fast hands. Big combination that puts Tim Johnson out. And how Fedor was the finish. Watch the nope. setup. Right hand, the left, comes the left. Right there. And he's stunned and out. You see him going down, he is out going down. Not just a trademark Fedor knockout, but no extra shots, oh. no standing over his opponent. Classy as ever.